Hi guys, I'm Vidya and uh, I know it's been a while since I've made a video but we've all been a little sick and Vikrant has not been napping so well and when Vikrant doesn't nap or go out of the house my videos get completely put on hold so but anyway I'm back and there are two videos coming up for you so make sure you watch the next one as well because that's pretty exciting but I'll dive right into this one because this is a pretty vast um, topic in itself like starting solids for babies it's uh, the first major milestone for the baby I think uh, in the process of becoming independent from the mother so it's a pretty emotional time as well at least it was for me um, and there are so many ways of doing it like there's no right or wrong way apart from a few safety precautions that you want to take for the baby um, which I'll talk about throughout this video but um, other than those a uh, few things there are as many ways of doing it as there are cultures in this world and uh, I followed something uh, slightly unconventional so if you are interested in knowing what I did and what worked for me uh, keep watching this video I can say it worked for me because Vikrant right now is a pretty decent eater he is interested in uh, trying out different kinds of food he loves his fruits and vegetables and uh, I know I don't want to jinx it because toddlers can be quite unpredictable but for the most part he is pretty good with his food um, so keep watching if you're interested in knowing what I did so the first question we kind of ask ourselves is when do we start offering the baby solids when is the baby actually ready uh, so there's no magic day when the baby suddenly starts you know digesting solid foods and uh, some doctors have uh, been saying four months but today most doctors believe that six months is the bare minimum for starting solids unless there's a medical need um, by medical need I mean if the baby is not putting on enough weight or you know if there are issues like colic they suggest uh, mixing baby cereal with formula or breast milk to feed the baby but uh, unless there is any other problem uh, and the baby is gaining weight at a, at a healthy rate um, it is best to wait until after they turn six months old to start giving solids we did the Anaprasna for uh, Vikrant which is the solids introducing kind of um, ceremony so we did that for him when he was five uh, five months old but that's when you just uh, like you know it's just a formality but we actually introduced solids um, after he turned maybe he was six and a half months old only then and that was very gradual because uh, I took it very slowly I had a very laid-back approach to solids in the first year of uh, Vikran's life um, so around six and a half months is when I gradually started introducing solids and he didn't eat uh, you know uh, much quantities at that stage I would say until eight months he was barely eating anything and eight nine months onwards he started you know the quantity of foods and the variety of foods also increased so even though they say six months is the right time for starting solids is more like an approximate age and uh, I started to look for signs of readiness uh, in Vikrant before I started feeding him so some of the signs that I looked for I didn't look at all the signs that they see in the on the internet but I looked for a few key things uh, so the first one was is he able to sit up um, well without support and uh, if he has good head control because that will help him in swallowing the food that he's eating um, so the way I found out this was I got him a high chair when he was about five months in age that helped for a few reasons one he started to get aware of where food was being eaten and I put it right next to the dining table and he was able to watch other people so it kind of gave him an introduction to meal times and food and everything because until now that's like a completely alien concept right the only food he is having is breast milk so 
uh, that was one advantage of using a high chair and also I was able to get an idea of when he was ready because when I first put him in the high chair he was not used to sitting that well so he would kind of uh, bend to one side and take the support of the arm but in a few weeks he got a little bit stronger and he got adjusted to it and he was sitting upright and moving around his head and hands and he wanted to play with things so that's when I knew that now is the right time for him to start you know experimenting with foods the second sign that i looked for in vikrant was his pincer grasp or picking up things with his thumb and forefinger of course he was not uh, very skillful at it until eight or nine months but at around six and a half seven months he was picking up things kind of getting the hang of things like that um, so that was another sign that i looked for um, and the third sign was the curiosity in food so like i said i used to put his high chair around the dining table and he used to watch us eat um, so that made him a little bit curious that you know what are all these people doing and what are all these colorful things that they're having so that curiosity was another thing that I looked for. I also looked for his tongue thrust reflux, uh, which is basically a natural instinct that uh, babies have to spit out any solid food. It's to protect them from accidentally choking when they are infants. So that uh, naturally gets uh, goes away by about six or seven months, and that's when they're ready to eat, you know, bits of food. So. I had my eye on that. The last sign that people say that you have to look for is that baby is hungrier than usual. This is kind of difficult because Vikrant used to have growth spurts uh, ever since he was maybe one month old and uh, Every time he had a growth spurt, he would feed a lot and he would be feeding very frequently for longer periods of time. So it was hard for me to gauge if he was really ready for solids or if he was having a growth spurt. So this was one sign that I didn't take too seriously. But I, in addition to all of these other signs, it kind of makes sense, I guess. So I didn't introduce solids on one particular day and from that day on, Vikrant started eating solids every day it wasn't like that it was very very gradual so uh, I was I just kept my eye on all of these signs and um, very casually I started to offer him a little bit of food one day I would in the beginning it was not even every day I would just offer it to him when he's in a good mood but um, as the days went on he started to recognize that th there is food coming his way and that's when I kind of uh, increase the uh, frequency of offering it to him so it was very very casual